Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about food chain. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine a food chain like a line of people passing a ball from one to the next. In nature, instead of a ball, it's energy that gets passed along. Here's how it works. Plants The food chain starts with plants. Plants make their own food using sunlight, water, and air. They are called producers because they produce energy from the sun. Herbivores The next step in the food chain is animals that eat plants. These animals are called herbivores. Carnivores The animals that eat herbivores are called carnivores. For example, a fox might eat a rabbit. These animals are called secondary consumers because they are the second ones to get the energy after the herbivores. Top Predators Some animals are at the very top of the food chain and eat other carnivores. For example, an eagle might eat a fox. Decomposers after plants and animals die, decomposers like fungi and bacteria break them down. This process returns nutrients to the soil, which helps plants grow, starting the cycle again. A food chain shows who eats whom in the wild and how energy moves from one living thing to another. Now here are fun facts about food chain. Longest food chain some marine food chains can be quite long. For example, in the ocean, it might start with plankton, which are eaten by krill, which are eaten by fish, which are then eaten by seals, and finally the seals might be eaten by orcas. Photosynthetic sea slugs Some sea slugs, like the Elsia chlorotica, can actually steal chloroplast from the algae they eat. These chloroplasts allow the slugs to perform photosynthesis, just like plants. Antarctic food chain In the cold waters of Antarctica, the food chain starts with tiny creatures called krill. These small shrimp-like animals are a key food source for many large animals, including squids, seals, and penguins. Venus flytrap While most plants are producers in the food chain, some like the Venus flytrap are both producers and consumers. They get energy from the sun but also catch and digest insects to get extra nutrients. Plants with chemical defenses Some plants produce chemicals that make them taste bad or even toxic to herbivores. This helps them avoid being eaten and disrupts the food chain. Insect food chains In a single backyard, there could be hundreds of mini food chains. For example, aphids feed on plant sap. Ladybugs eat aphids. And birds eat ladybugs. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about food chain today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.